Hi, welcome to Donegal Dad. I'm Mark. Um, today we're in the Railway Heritage Centre in Donegal Town and we're going to look at a little DC shuttle and how we fit that and this is controlled using diodes. This is a model of Donegal Town as it would have appeared in the mid 50s. We use the DC shuttles to control the movements of trains in and out of the station to give a bit of excitement to the layout. So I'll show you now how they work. This shuttle is going to be used to control the section from Donegal Town Station out to what will be Barnes Moor Holt. To use these DC shuttles, you have the power from your controller going in and then the power out to your track. Where you want the engine to stop on the track, you cut the track and you put the diode across it. Now if you notice the diode has a white line, so it's important that you take note of this and make sure the diode goes the right way around. The diode is an electronic component which works like a, a one-way valve, so it only allows the current to flow in one direction. So when the train is coming along, and it goes across the cut in the track, the engine stops because the current is only flowing in one direction. The electronics on board the unit, and after a certain time, which you can adjust with this screw here, reverses the current. In so doing, it can flow through the diode and then the train starts reversing down the track. If you're using a bus wire, it's important that droppers are not put on after the diode. So let's go ahead, put this track in place, decide where we want to make the cut, and I'll use the Dremel to cut it, and then we can solder the diode across the cut track. The track is temporarily pinned in position. I'm going to want to put the cut around here, because I don't want the engine to stop along here, with the platform being here. So take your cutting tool, remember your safety glasses, because these discs can shatter and can be quite dangerous, and we're just going to cut through the rail. We are there's the cut and we're going to take the track off and solder the diode across that space there's the track the section cut in it i'm going to put the diode across it i'm also going to put some droppers on the end here and the droppers are going on before where the diode goes in so the first thing to do is give it a clean up so i'm using a little wire brush attachment just rub along the rail where you're going to solder. This will clean it off and give it something for the solder to key into. And I'll also do it on the back of the rail and put the droppers on. There we go. A little bit of flux just along the inside of the rail just to help the solder flow. Making sure your diode is in the right direction. A little bit of flux on the ends. Hold it in position. Hold the solder. There we are, it's attached to the rail. 
It's easy as that. Let's put the droppers on. So again, a little bit of flux on the back of the rail. Dab a solder on each rail. I've already pre-tinned these. So hold it in place. I remember using the same old convention, uh, black to the back for the wiring. Hold on the solder, quick dab. Yeah, that's that one done. Hold it there for a second, and that's that one done. So, two droppers in, ready to connect to the bus wire. That's the track in, diodes attached. We're down to the other end in the station where the local will stop. The diode is attached there with the cut the track. And now time to fit the shuttle into that space there. There's the DC shuttle attached to the board, all wired in. So let's switch it on and see what happens. Now you can see the LEDs on the shuttles have come on, so that shows they're working. When the LED is coloured to two reds, that's when the direction of the current is reversed, so you know it's flowing the other way. So let's have a look on, on top and see if the engines are running. There we have these shuttles in use on our G-scale. So they will draw uh, a larger ampage, allowing them to run. And then we have our little siding that we put in. There it goes. And you can see there, once it crosses the gap in the track with the diode, it stops. And then the shuttle will reverse the flow of the current after about 30 seconds, and it will travel back down the track again. You can see it working on some of the other models. You can adjust the time on the shuttles by using a little screw, you can adjust the length of time it runs from two seconds to about three and a half minutes. Hope you find that useful with the DC shuttle. So please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Leave any comments down below. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Hope you find that useful with the DC shuttle. So please don't forget to like, subscribe. Oh, nope. <laughs>